How's it going everybody? Garrett back with a short video. I just wanted to uh, show you all my new flux that I made. I'm jarring it up in these little jars. But uh, I did just a basic, uh, I did a basic mixture of uh, uh, pine rosin or resin, whatever you have you, and uh, isopropyl alcohol. And the way I did it was I crushed it up really good. So this is the crap that you get off the trees right here. It's just the resin or rosin, the sticky goopy stuff. Some of it's hard, but I let it kind of get real hard and then I crush it up into a really fine powder. And I do about, I don't know, let's say five parts of the uh, resin or rosin with about eight to nine parts alcohol. And then I'll put it in a jar, like a mason jar with a lid. And I don't know about anybody else, but what I do is I'll put it in a pot of boil, like just boiling water and I'll let it sit for a while since the boiling point of alcohol is obviously lower than the water. The water doesn't actually have to boil for the alcohol to get hot enough to boil. And it mixes everything just perfect. And so what I did was I did that and then I just let it sit for a while and uh, like a few days and it turned in to like a, a paste, like a flux paste. But you can just take off, you know, the top and get the really, just the, the real thin alcohol type. But I really like the paste stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have any extra syringes to put it in, but I, I did order some. But anyhow, this is the stuff I made with the pine rosin. You might laugh, but I did make some with the, some of the resin off of a fir tree. And this is kind of what I got going. It's like really syrupy. Looks like syrup. I haven't actually tried it to solder with. I doubt it's going to work very good. But I figured, hey, I'll just try it out. Because here in Washington, where I live, there's not as many pine trees as there are fir trees or um, western reds. Even western reds aren't as many as the fir trees. There's just so many Douglas fir trees. And I made a paste out of this one. Now this one is about about five parts of the uh, the flux or rosin resin to about um, seven or eight parts. I, I cooked it the same way as the pine one, but afterwards I mixed it. It was more of a liquid and I mixed it with some petroleum jelly. Um, like I said, I doubt it's gonna work. I'm just gonna try it out. It's just something to do, man. We're all, we're all bored with this damn pandemic, aren't we? Anyway, this stuff works great. This stuff works really good. So what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I got these little bottles at the Dollar Tree. I got some bigger ones here too, but I'm just going to fill these ones up. And that's where these little popsicle sticks here come in handy. Just drop it right in there. It kind of has like an applesauce consistency. But I will tell you, it works. <laughs> it works just as good as uh, my Amtec. I mean, I will say it is a little bit stickier when I get done, but I clean up all my stuff with alcohol anyway. So I honestly think I'm just going to start using this stuff. It works really good. But I, I mean, I will check some boards for long-term effects. But like I said, I clean them anyway, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, man, it's as easy as that. You literally get the sap, resin, rosin off the tree and uh, mix it down with some alcohol. You can mix it as thin as you want. Though. I know a lot of you like the real thin stuff and I do like the thin stuff for certain projects, but I usually like the paste because I do a lot of surface mount as well. And this stuff, uh, I don't like the liquid just going everywhere. I like to put it in a more of a, a uh, what's that word I'm looking for? I... What am I saying? But more of a, uh, just more of a certain spot. Okay, I can't find the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I mean, shoot. I figure instead of going on eBay and buying God knows what, I'm just gonna make my own. I mean, it's easy. I got all this off like one tree. One tree, this will make five times this. And I don't even need to do that. This will last 
This stuff will probably last me six months to a year. I definitely want to get some of the bigger syringes for these, though, for this stuff. Because it's really nice being able to just squirt it out a little bit at a time. With this, I'll probably just use like a Q-tip or a toothpick or something to put it on the location that I want. But I doubt anybody's even watching this video. But if anybody is, and you want me to show you how I did this, like from start to finish, I'll be more than happy to do it and show you all how it's done step by step so you can do it too. But like I said, it's if you can make a bowl of cereal or a bowl of top ramen, you can do this. I will say, um, heat and uh, flammable stuff like alcohol, well, and even this resin, it's not it's very dangerous. So you definitely want to make sure you're taking all the safe safety precautions, safety glasses, even like something to wear over your face, a face mask. You don't want to breathe the stuff in. And if you are under 18 years of age, you definitely want a parental figure to do it with you. Um, but like I said, I will be more than happy to make a video showing you how to make it. If you're wondering what this stuff here is, well, a buddy of mine just opened up a store. It's called Open Box Treasures. It's here in Tacoma, Washington. And uh, him and his brother, they bid for pallets from Amazon, places like Target and Costco for basically the take backs. And they sort through them when they get them and they uh, get all the stuff that's still good and working condition, like stuff that was brought back because the people just simply didn't want it. They just wanted their money back for some reason. And they sell it for literally half price. Like if you go into their store and you find something you like and it doesn't have a price tag on it, they will scan it with the Amazon app and whatever it comes up on Amazon as, they'll sell it to you for half that. And we're talking the stuff's in the box, like it's good stuff. But like I said, some of the stuff that's taken back um, does have defects. In this case, this drone right here had some defects. Um, and so uh, I, he gave me like a screaming deal on it, basically gave it to me for free. <laughs> and uh, I brought it home and charged up the battery and uh, turned everything on, got the remote synced up with it. And nothing works except for this button. And this is the button that's a self takeoff button. So you hit it and it just takes off and just goes into outer space and crashes. And then if you bring it down and you use these buttons here, you barely get a little, little bit of throttle out of them. So what I did is I opened this up, the remote. And uh, whoever put this together during manufacturing uh, didn't solder up a bunch of the solder connections on here. They're just dry sockets. So obviously it's not getting an electrical connection. It's not completing a circuit. So on my next video, I'll show you what I'm talking about and I'll actually solder it all together and get it all working. So you can see more about what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm pretty positive I know exactly what's wrong with it. So that is what that is doing there. Man, this stuff looks like applesauce. I'm sure it tastes nothing like it though. I also ordered some of the squeeze bottles for the thinner stuff, the more diluted stuff with alcohol. And that, that's what's also cool about this stuff is you can dilute it down with alcohol and get about five times as much as what's in here. So just depending on how you like your uh, flux. Obviously the thinner this stuff is, um, the less you're gonna have to clean it up because it does leave a little bit of a stickiness. But uh, like I said, that doesn't bother me because I clean up all my stuff. And even if I didn't clean it up, I don't think it would be a problem. I really don't. So I'm gonna actually try a couple and see. I'm gonna solder up a couple and uh, let them sit for a while and see if there's any crazy corrosion. But I mean, shoot, I've saved myself a lot of money making this. A lot of money, you know, just one tube of the m -Tech. <laughs> I mean, it's at least 10 bucks depending on where you go. It's even more than that depending on which one you get. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it.
Oh yeah. So yeah, if you somehow do find this video and you think it's uh, worthy of another watch, maybe share it with somebody. And uh, if you do, if you are interested on in seeing how I made this, like I said, I'll be more than happy to uh, show you step by step how I made it in a video. I'll show you how to cook it down. Um, and you don't even have to cook it down, but I prefer you cook it down. If you don't get the pure resin off the internet and you buy the, you get the stuff off the tree, you're definitely going to want to cook it down because it's got, you know, stuff in it. It's got bugs, pine needles, you name it. So it's better to cook it down and uh, filter it out. So, yeah. Anyhow, I uh, hope my video is insightful and I uh, hope you all have a good week. Take care and God bless.